border on European continent and Ukraine is protecting European citizens. Hello Ukrainian friends. We are very happy to be here to do this manifestation. Two years ago, it happened what nobody think would happen or in the West. Not, nobody thought it would happen. Tanks going into Ukraine, massive invasion of a democratic country that came loose from communism, that embraced freedom, that embraced the West, that embraced all the values that we stand for, and Putin could not stand it. He attacked you and invaded your country. And two years later, we are still fighting this war. And why it is important to be here and to hold this manifestation is to show to Russia and to Putin that even after two years, he will not break our spirit. He will not break our solidarity of the Europeans with the Ukrainian people. We will keep on fighting until Ukraine is free. We want to thank everyone who supported us. Uh, first of all, those who gave their lives so we could live in freedom and have our liberties. Slava Zesu! Russia back to Stalinism and is killing Ukraine these days with the same cruelty as in the mid of 20th century. Putin, as he himself puts it, is fighting against all Europe. That is why he must be put in jail. Slava Ukraine! continent and I see today this morning in Brussels that it's not. We are here to say we Europeans are here for Ukraine. I was at the march in Luxembourg yesterday and I saw people saying the exact same thing. That we'll be there for as long as it's needed. We have helped Ukraine. We are helping Ukraine but we need to do much more, much faster, much stronger. We do need to give more support to Ukraine because we owe it to the people that are suffering, the people that are dying now in Ukraine fighting for their freedom, for our values. As an um, Iranian and Belgian uh, women's rights activist, I learned one thing uh, through all the demonstrations that we did, is that we all, all have always the same enemy. It's always uh, the Russia, it's always the Islamic Republic of Iran. We have much in common all together and that's what why it is super important to also stand together and so i can say one thing and that is that internationally over the whole world we must have the same language and that language is humanism and universalism ukraine peace for europe victory for ukraine peace for europe to be speaking to you today on behalf of your represented nations and people organization. Today we gather in solidarity, standing united with all those who continue two years on, bravely opposing Russia's war of aggression. The people of Ukraine have shown incredible heroism and determination in the fight against the occupier. Dear brothers and sisters, I'm delighted to be here. Although there is much to fight for, our brothers and sisters in Ukraine are giving their life for European democracy and we need to support them as much as possible. And not just with words, but with actions. We need to unfreeze the 300 million euros, billions, to, in order to spend them to Ukraine, give them the weapons that they need to defend European democracy. You are not alone, we are with you. Ukraine is Europe. Helium Slava. Slava Ukraini! Europe stands with Ukraine. We have a lot of friends in the European Union, in Belgium, in every country, in every democratic country. It is not so difficult to understand that the fight of Ukraine is the global fight. Ukraine fights for Europe. Ukraine fights for democracy, for protection of human rights, for the right to live. Ukraine is the biggest signal to all democratic world 
that we have to unite, to stay in solidarity, to fight totalitarian regimes. And if Europe doesn't support Ukraine today, it might be too late. Today, the goal of our demonstration is to remind once again that we have to stand in solidarity, to fight this evil together. Because Ukrainians are putting their lives. Ukrainians have no peaceful nights since 10 years. Ukrainians are paying the biggest price. And here, with this gray weather in Belgium, but we are so privileged to be here safe, to be here healthy, to be here.